first of all, congratulations. Uh, you're, you're captain of Scotland, but you're, you're captain of Scotland in a World Cup game, so that, that must bring a, an added sense of achievement. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a huge honour. Um, I was extremely happy when, when Vernon told me he was going to be captain, so it was uh, yeah, something I'll, I'll treasure forever, but um, ultimately we need to go out there on Sunday and put in a good performance and get a win. Cause it's, uh, and we need to back up that performance we had against Japan on Wednesday. So you've also got to play your game. You might be captain, but you've also got to play your own game to the to the best of your ability. So how do you how do you balance? Uh, is there a balance to be to be struck there? Uh, I think for me, I'll have to. I mean, over the next few days, I'll try and prepare as best I can. Probably looking forward, uh, looking ahead. You know, captaincy wise, things that I have to think about in the game. So making sure I'm, you know, nothing's really a surprise going into the game. I'll understand situations and, and what I need to do. But ultimately, when you're on the pitch as well, I need to. Comes down to me playing well and doing my role for the team as best I can. So when I'm on the pitch, I'll be focusing on you know doing my job and, and make sure I get that right. I think one of the things that the, the, the team seemed to be happy with, particularly in the game against Japan, was uh, their patience. So is that again part of the captaincy role to to instil that 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 sense of look? If we keep trying, things will happen. We just have to believe in. And what we're doing? Yeah, I think uh, a big part of the captain's role probably is to is to get across those messages. You know, constantly getting across messages in training and during the game, things that are, you know will work for us and will happen for us. So yeah, patience is, is a big thing against Japan. We were able to, you know, in that second half, we held the ball for a while, and and we knew if we did that against them, they would tire and, and we'd found space, which we did, and, and we executed well and, and scored tries on the back of that. So again, this weekend, USA no doubt will come out out the traps hard and put us under a lot of pressure. They're big physical guys, so we need to make sure we look after the ball. You know, recycle it, look after you know our breakdowns, things like that, and, and hopefully we'll find space. We've got some dangerous runners who can who can cause them problems if we do that. What is um, the the fact that you finished so well and so so ruthlessly within the game against Japan? What does that do to to, to confidence within the squad? Yeah, I think it's great. We we obviously needed that. It was it was tight for a while in that game, but I think. Uh, as you, as you said, in the second half, we really managed to pull away from them. I think that's something we pride ourselves on. There was a bit of chat about fitness going into the game, and uh, and we pride ourselves on being a fit side. And, and I think we showed that. So hopefully, again at the weekend, if you know the game's close, you know around the 50-minute mark, we you know we, we will look to, to you know keep playing, keep looking after the ball, being patient, and uh, and taking opportunities when they arise. Perhaps slightly strange, and it's a captain's run. Two days out from the game instead of the day before. What did you make of the the, the stadium, but also the surface? Uh, well, the surface was uh, was great. Um, I think a lot of the boys were commenting on that. It's uh, it's exactly, I think it's perfect. Exactly what we we want as as rugby players. We can't complain about that. So that'll be exciting to play on. Hopefully, we get a dry ball as well. And it should be uh, should be an exciting game. Um, I think the stadium. Yeah, again, it was really close in. Uh, I suppose a historical football ground. Um, it's exciting for the guys. We get a chance to play at Ellen Road. It'll be it'll be a good occasion. It was a tight game against the US in, in Houston um, last summer on tour. Uh, as you would expect, a, a very physical side. Um, how do you feel they will go on on Saturday? What do you think they'll try and do against on Sunday? What do you think they'll try and do against Scotland? Um, I think, well, as you know, as you said, they're a physical team. They've got some big ball carriers. Um, you know, Sammy Minow in particular. So I'm sure they'll. They'll run hard us and, and make us, you know, tackle them. And uh, you know, they've got again out wide. They've got some dangerous backs and Gwenya guys with a lot of pace. We've we've seen they're pretty dangerous off, off counter attack and, and unstructured play. So we need to make sure we we deal with those situations well and and try and impose our game on them as much as possible and make them make them defend us. How much have you been able to enjoy the the, the rest of the World Cup as a tournament, or is it now now that the game is underway, now that you've played Japan, now you've got the USA to look forward to? Is it a case that your focus is just entirely on on, on what Scotland are doing? Uh, I think one of the one of the bonuses probably of not not being not playing early on was we got we got a chance to get down to Gloucester and, and watch a few of the opening games, which was which was great for the guys. We got together and you know watched the World Cup and the opening show and things like that. In the first few games it was exciting getting to you know see the World Cup as it is. Um, but yeah, it's like now it's you know we're we're straight into the games and we haven't had a lot of time you know from the travelling up uh, from Gloucester. To, to the game on Sunday, so a lot of it, you know, we're focusing on looking at our plays, uh, making sure we're understanding our roles and recovering. We haven't really got a lot of time to uh, to think about the World Cup as such as the tournament, but um, you know, it'll be exciting and hopefully we'll go well at the weekend.